The COVID-19 vaccines are highly effective, but early research is suggesting they may not protect millions of people with compromised immune systems. But there may be another solution. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on an experimental therapy that may help. Jay Height lives on a fishing boat anchored in National City, and it's been his sanctuary during the pandemic. Unfortunately, I, I felt obligated to really kind of remain quarantined even after having the vaccine just as a precautionary measure. He's had to remain extra careful because he has a type of blood cancer that affects his immune cells. A small study this month found nearly half of the patients with blood cancers did not produce any antibodies after two doses with a COVID vaccine. The numbers were even worse in patients with chronic lymphocytic leukemia. That's the kind of cancer Height has. I'll admit, I was, um, I was so looking forward to the vaccine and I, you know, quite honestly was so disappointed. Early research suggests organ transplant recipients also have a weak response to the vaccines, along with people who take certain drugs for inflammatory bowel disease, rheumatoid arthritis, and other cancers. There are some treatments used in cancer that specifically target white blood cell cancers. Dr. Thomas Buckholtz of Scripps MD Anderson Cancer Center says those drugs knock out a type of white blood cell called B cells, which are the cells responsible for making antibodies. And not surprisingly, they can have an adverse effect on the functioning of the normal white blood cells, and therefore you're not able to generate that immunity. But scientists are testing a possible solution, injecting people with pre-made antibodies. Lab-designed cloned antibodies are already used to treat high-risk patients after they get infected. But a study published this month found monoclonal antibodies made by Regeneron were 81% effective at preventing infections in the first place. That study was done on people with normal immune systems, but other studies on people with compromised immune systems are underway, including a phase three trial by AstraZeneca. Still, Dr. Buckhold says in most cases, vaccination is the preferred route. Once you're vaccinated, you're gonna have 24 seven uh, um, availability of these innate um, cells that are alive and, and in your system. Whereas the monoclonal antibodies are, are given and they circulate and they have what we call a half-life or a shelf life, and eventually they are gone. To stay protected with monoclonal antibodies, patients may need infusions on a regular basis. Each one takes about 20 minutes. I'm hoping to, to see results here soon. Jay Hyde is taking part in a study through the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society to measure his antibody response to the vaccines. But he says if monoclonal antibodies can offer better protection, I am all in. I'm, I'm watching this very carefully. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. This month, Regeneron said it would apply for clearance to expand the use of its antibodies as a preventive treatment. So far, the FDA has not updated its authorization. And you can find more in-depth coverage on the pandemic from vaccines to CDC guidance on the ABC 10 News app. And that's free in the App Store.